Life is short. Short enough to make every moment count, but long enough to live out the Lord's purpose in our lives. I've learned many things throughout life. I want to share with you six important life lessons I've learned. The first, choose relationships over objects. Life is ephemeral. Choose people over things. Seasons, times, people, and things may change, but solid relationships stay the same. Sacrifice time and resources for others. Spend time with those who matter. Moments with objects may last, but memories with people will last forever. Choose relationships over work or academics, for we can lose our loved ones in a blink of an eye. A moment with loved ones is worth more than precious gold. Don't live in isolation. No man is an island. Encourage one another. Be at peace with one another. Love one another, for God has loved us first. Second, invest in the future. Begin with the end in mind. Academics and work will fade. There are much greater things in life than these. Don't be weighed down by temporary things. Don't keep looking back. Keep moving forward. Learn from the past. Live in the present. Look to the future. Invest in the things that matter. Invest in the people that matter. Invest in relationships. Invest in knowledge. Invest in wisdom. Invest in eternity. The third, all things have an appointed time. Don't be pressured by the success of others. Don't be pressured by the world. Don't be pressured by yourself. There is a time for everything. Take things slowly but surely. Make every moment count. Be patient. You will learn in God's time. You will grow in God's time. You will achieve goals in God's time. You will understand in God's time. Keep learning, keep growing, keep persevering, and in all things, praise God. The fourth, explore new things. Be confident and bold. Get out of your comfort zone. You'll learn more under pressure. You'll learn more under trial. You'll learn more through discomfort. Pain is temporary. Get comfortable outside your comfort zone. Learn from others, and others can learn from you. Express yourself through art, music, writing, or speech. Soar to new heights. Run the extra mile. Push your limits. Gain new experience. See what the future has in store. A long journey awaits. Explore the unknown. And in all things, do it for the glory of God. The fifth, pursue righteousness and purity. Flee from youthful passions and lusts. Pursue things that are true. Pursue things that are noble. Pursue things that are pure. Pursue things that are lovely. Pursue things that are worthy of praise. Pursue things that are commendable. Do not be conformed to your fleshly desires. Be transformed by the constant renewal of your mind that you may discern what is good and acceptable and perfect in the eyes of God. And lastly, seek first the kingdom of God. Fight the good fight for the true faith. Keep His commandments. Invest in His word. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Pray without ceasing. Worship Him in spirit and in truth. Repent and turn to God. Praise Him in and through all things. Be grateful for all He has done. All hands in deck, all eyes in Jesus. We await the day of the Lord Jesus.